morning, miners. I'm Elliot Scott Best. And I'm Rachel Middle Name Peterson. And, and we're, we're sorry, sorry for lying. lying. I really do miss those guys. Same. They were incredible hosts. What's new? What is new? Hello, miners. I am not Lou Gregerson, but this is Ed Hughes News. Isaac! <gasps> what do you want from me, Luke? This is my show! Man, li Luke, listen to me, dude. You need to hit these guys with some news that has a slapper to it. Slapper? A slapper. Man, hit the track. Listen up, miners. I got an offer that will make you raise your brow. The saddle tickets are on sale in the finance office right now. Buy them for $6 before November 5th, and all you will need is someone to go with. This week is Battle for the Saddle, and we know you want to dazzle. So buy a button for $1 in room 701. Holla! Tomorrow is the last day for s and prep, so go see Mrs. Moore. If a poor score is not your thing, then get on through that door. If you are a senior about to be a grad, today is the day to buy your senior ads. In the pretty room of 603, deadline for this is December 18. Man, that kid has a lot of Hawaiian shirts. It's a polo thing. Yeah, so must have been great this year, by the way. Good job. Nicole, pull and swim are two different things. You know I don't know sports. Brendan, Dustin, can you help this one out? Good morning, El Diamante, and welcome back to Ed Hughes Sports. Brendan, you look a little roughed up. What happened? Oh, uh, I just had a little disagreement with a Golden West kid. That's, we're, we're fine. You know, I have a little problem, too. I took care of it. Dustin, what did you do? One of our signs fell down. I taped it right back up. <laughs> okay, let's get to the highlights. Last Friday, football lost 35-0. to zero. They play Golden West Friday for Battle for the Saddle. Marco, Polo. Last Thursday, boys water polo barely lost 11 to 12 in overtime. Hey, Callan, do you have any input on this game? No, but I do have input on the highlights, like where are all of the ones of me scoring goals. Callan, it's not all about you. Okay. Last Thursday, volleyball played a very tough game against Lemoore. The effort they put in was remarkable, and the highlights have to show for it. Dustin, do you have anything to add? I brought my radar gun to the game, and that serve hit 95 degrees Celsius. Good job, Dustin. Tomorrow we learn colors. Miners lost three games to one. Don't forget to check them out next time here, home, against Golden West. Callan, get back to hosting. Make sure you go to Battle for the Saddle Friday. Where'd Brendan go? Where is he? Oh, there's Brendan. I'm just going to go to cross country. Okay. I can't believe it's November already. Um, I said, I can't believe it's November already. Oh, it's my life. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> no Shave November started a couple days ago. And your beard is coming in fast. Only 26 more days to go. Yikes. Let's go to entertainment. I'm 
Emma. And forget the host. This is a new entertainment Emma, studio. Why are you in my chair? Nicole, get down. I'm filming entertainment right now. Seriously? Well, as I've heard, Trinity's been taken captive by Golden West. Let's see what movie we have for you this week, Miners. I was taking some OG holiday. Explosions, romance, sitting. All these and more in the newest Bond movie, Spectre. In this action-packed thriller, the dashing James Bond must infiltrate the secret organization, Spectre. However, he finds that this group's leader has close ties to his past. The movie stars Daniel Craig, Naomi Harris, and Christoph Waltz. Spectre sneaks into theaters November 6th. Is really ripping me off. Well, that's all we have for this week, Miners. I'll see you next week. Now I know what movies to take my dates to. Callan, the only dates you have are the ones in your calendar for your polo games. You know the ladies can't resist me. No luck? No. Hey, Miners! Welcome back to Replay the Moment, the weekly photo competition put on by your book. I'm your host, Brittany, here with your winner from the fall team. Kelly Baldwin, go to room 603 to claim your prize. Your four options from the Halloween theme are option one, option two, option three, and option four. Again, that's option one, option two, option three, and option four. This week's theme is Spirit. Did you dress up? Are you going to the game? How are you supporting our boys? Submit your pictures to replay it by fifth period Monday for your chance to win. Looks like we have another new segment. I didn't hear about this. They can't have a new segment. This is my day. Okay, happy birthday. You're 18, yada yada. You can, you can buy lottery tickets. Let's see this new segment. Hi, I'm Mr. Jiraki, and I'm the uh, yearbook and AP English teacher here at El Diamante High School. <sighs> if I had to define a, uh, a principle of my life, I'd probably say it'd have to be, why not? I, uh, I think I first saw this in action when I hit college. I was going to Fresno State, and I had to choose a class for my, my GE. I needed a, a physical activity class, and so I chose to take a ballet class, because I'd never done any dance in my life. And I thought it'd be a, a fun thing to give a shot. And uh, actually, I, I discovered I loved to, to, to be working with dance. And then about a year later, uh, a friend of mine said, hey, I'm quitting my job as a ballroom dance teacher. Would you like to be a ballroom dance teacher? And I said, why not? And so they ended up spending the next two years teaching ballroom dance on campus, or rather uh, at a studio in town, and just really enjoyed working with people. And I thought at that point, you know, I was going to be a writer or a rock star, and instead I ended up, uh, I decided I wanted to be a teacher. So then I graduated with my English degree, and uh, I was working as a door-to-door -door salesman for cable TV at the time. And I always said that if my life got really awful, I'd probably join the military. And so I said, why not? Uh, and I joined the military, joined the Navy, and the day that I joined the military, uh, Saddam Hussein invaded Kuwait. And they asked me if I wanted to learn Arabic, and I said, heck no. Because I knew that if I did, I'd be sent to the Gulf immediately. So instead I said, uh, can I have Russian? And they said, sure. And so I ended up learning Russian at the DLI in Monterey. From there, I uh, spent four years in the military, lived in Spain, Turkey, Germany, Greece, um, I think that's it, uh, in Texas, in San Diego, in Florida, and I just got to move around to a bunch of different places, interesting. Got out of the military and uh, got my master's degree in linguistics. And then one day I was uh, looking in a binder in the office and I saw that it said, uh, would you like to teach in Russia? And so I looked at this job application and I thought, okay, why not? And I ended up teaching in Russia. I went over there for three years. So I ended up with my Russian wife as a souvenir. And I was in the uh, information sciences program at Fresno State. I was planning on being a computer game designer. I thought it would be fun to make video games. And then a friend of mine from uh, Buchanan High School called and said, hey, you want to be an English teacher? And of course I said, well, why not? And so then I started teaching English there and figured out that I really loved doing that. And so I spent three years doing that. And then my brother called and said, hey, I have a business. I need you to run my marketing firm in Boston. You want to go live in Boston for a while? So I said, of course, why not? And then I ended up spending a year in Boston and realized that I really didn't like business and that I wanted to get back into teaching. And then a friend of mine um, called me again, the same one who had called me from Buchanan, and said, hey, I'm now the principal of Redwood High School in Visalia. Want to come and teach AP English? And I said, why not? 
And uh, I moved from Boston here, and then he said, you want to be the yearbook teacher? I said, why not? And that's pretty much how I ended up here. And then about five years ago, Mrs. Perez said they were having they had a position open. They were looking for a yearbook AP teacher at El Diamante. And of course, one last time I said, why not? You know, my greatest wish for the students of El Diamante is that they say the same thing, that when something comes up, when, when you have an opportunity to do something strange or weird or wonderful, say to yourself, why not? Look at where it's got me. I've got two beautiful kids, a beautiful wife, a job I love, people around me I enjoy working with. And really, I think just by taking advantage of what life has thrown at me, I've made a rich and wonderful life that I really love living. I love hearing stories about teachers. Oh, don't worry, guys. We're not here to breach into your personal life. Like the government. <laughs> Back, <laughs> Back to, to business. business. Enough about politics. Let's go to On the Street with Janai. On the Street. We hit to educate, yeah. not yeah. humiliate. Yeah. All right, I'm here with Guzman today. What's your signature move, dance move? I have a killer sprinkler. All right, let's see it. Yeah. All right, what's your what's your go-to dance move? Uh, the whip. Okay, let's let's hit it. You ready? Alright, what's your signature dance move? My go-to dance move would be the moonwalk. Alright, let's see it. Killing, what's your favorite dance move? The jerk. Let's see it then. I'm here with Troy. What's your favorite dance move? Uh, dab it up. Let's see it, then. Okay. Okay, he's out here. This has been On the Street with Janai. So, who asked questions better, Janai or Couch Talk with Callan? Vote on my Twitter to see who wins. My name is at... No, Callan, let's not give out personal information. The last time I gave out personal information, I ended up with an email full of Gap coupons and my Facebook telling me that Grandma sent another friend request. Hey, accept her. I love Gail. Her name is Linda. Anyways, you started the club, right? Yeah. Uh, we just get like together on Tuesdays and we eat tacos and we kind of socialize. It's called Let's Talk About It. Anyways. Here's some more clubs to check out. Good morning, miners. We have a new club on campus. Let's go check what that's all about. I'm Kieran, and we would like to invite you to the first meeting of the new American Sign Language Club. If you have any interest in learning sign for fun, please come join us. That's all the information we have. Make sure to go to the meeting during lunch today. Have a great day, miners. So, Nicole, what's the Quinjet story? Hey, cool your jets. We're gonna find out right now.
14-year-old Hunter Powers can't wait. I wasn't able to see it the entire time. I couldn't see any pictures from the drawings or anything. He knows he's about to get an epic Halloween costume, and he's been waiting for this moment for months. He was born with spina bifida and doesn't have the strength to walk, so he's carried out blindfolded to meet his new set of wheels. Yeah, go for it. Oh, that's awesome. This is a Quinjet, the stealth transportation from Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And Hunter is his favorite spy character, Agent Phil Coulson. <laughs> and he couldn't be happier. Memorize your buttons. It's a labor of love for Jeff Watamura. He's a high school art teacher in California, and his kids built this. He made the 12-hour drive to deliver it. It's always been from day one about Hunter, and my kids know who Hunter is. They've seen pictures of him, and now they get to see this, and it's going to be pretty exciting. A smile for a Halloween dream come true. This is the 12th year of the Great Pumpkin Contest. My homeroom challenges all the other homerooms to make a better pumpkin than ours. All homerooms collect funds for the Hydrocephalus Foundation in honor of Ollie Feldstrom. Uh, thank you for supporting this charitable contribution. It's exhilarating. It's so cool. Oh my gosh, it's so, so awesome. Oh. It's amazing. I am totally surprised at how awesome they are, and I love it. And it's hard to decide. We're very pleased with it. We appreciate it a lot. It's great. Great pumpkins, lots of uh, good choices. It's hard to decide. I feel very pumpkin-y. I think it's time you express yourself. Express yourself. Hi, my name is Mackenzie. I'm a senior and I love art. My favorite thing about art would be being creative and how you can be yourself and just do whatever you want. But one thing I don't like about art is how long it takes and then you get antsy, you will finish a project, you start to rush, and you just have to take your time. My favorite project would probably be this monkey that I made, and I just, it took a long time, but I finally did it. And I finished, and I love it. I'm currently involved in choir, and I was involved in dance, and then I play a couple of Hi, my name is Min Kim, and I'm senior this year. How many years I've been beatboxing? Um, I started beatboxing in my freshman year, and I practiced by myself. Yeah, I used to practice just for just to improve myself, but not really anymore because I got good. I don't know. <laughs> That's all we have, folks. Actually, I think we're gonna end this little show by saying happy birthday to me with a music video.